Hi everybody, it's Anna K. Morris with We Play Everywhere coming to you with your part three video in the video series of how to get what you want. And um, just to recap it, you know, we talked to the first video, or I talked to the first video about um, being clear about what you want. And then the last video was about letting go, letting go of how you think it should look and really like expectations and also belief system. And then the third part of the video series is that in getting what you want in using that process, magic can happen. So I'm gonna paint the whole picture for you with my own experience as I, I shared with you um, earlier this week. Uh, Derek and I knew that we wanted adventure. Um, we started with the things that weren't working, and then we got to the things that we wanted. Now, we didn't really have a clue as to how that was all going to work out. And the, the second video, if you haven't watched it yet, please watch it. Letting go is the most important part of all of this. So to back up, I told you that um, we are under contract and are in the process of selling our house um, with the plan of closing in, in a couple of weeks, and two and a half weeks to be exact. And that's because we knew that we wanted adventure, we knew we wanted to reduce our overhead, and we knew we wanted more liquidity. Uh, we had a dream of backpacking Europe and by backpacking, I mean staying at hotels. Um, just in case those of you that are watching are like, Anna doesn't seem like somebody who wants to backpack. You're right. I want to backpack-ish in that like I, I carry stuff around for a little while, but not long. And, um, and then we wanted to do a camper van and drive the West Coast and up to Canada and then down the, into the Northeast. So we had these really big plans, but there was a really far disconnect of like, how are we going to pay for this? What about Derek's job? Like all these different questions, right? But we just threw it out there. And then we started, the one thing that we knew we needed to do was that we needed more, um, more money in our savings account. And we knew we needed to reduce our overhead. So we started with the, with the selling of the house. Now, funny thing happened along the way in our being clear and letting go. Derek got an opportunity to lead a project in England. So our dream of backpacking through Europe um, really was answered. So our magic that's happening is in less than a month, we are moving to Leeds, England, which if you don't know where that is, look it up on a map or listen to the rest of this video. Um, it's just about two and a half hours north of London on a fast train. And, um, and it's exactly between like London is here, Edinburgh is here in Scotland, and then Leeds is right in the middle. So um, yeah, and it's a, a five to six month project. So we'll be there the first of April until whatever that is, early September, most likely. And, um, and we don't know what will happen after that. But it's a really, gosh, it just happened so Perfectly, It literally fell out of the sky. There was no like, oh, maybe this is an opportunity. We didn't know anything about this happening when we started the process with the house. And it was within, it was actually the same day. I take that back. It was the same day that our, our realtor came over that Derek had been in a meeting where this opportunity came up that it was a possibility. And just to, to throw a little drama into it, because life is can be so much more fun <laughs> with a little bit of angst and drama. Um, so the day that we put the house on the market, Derek called me and said, uh, it's not going to happen. We're not going to go to England. It's very unlikely. It doesn't, you know, for several different reasons, it's, it's probably not going to happen. What should we do? And I'm so thankful, even though it was a really challenging time and we were quite uncertain of, of what we were doing next, I'm so thankful that um, for the next 10 days, we put our house on the market, 
we got a couple of offers, we accepted an offer and went into contract. And we did all of that thinking that we weren't moving to England. And we were like, you know what, this was what our plan was going to be. And something will work out and we don't know what, but we are going to surrender and keep on track of us wanting to be lower in overhead, more liquid so that we can have some adventures. And, um, and then what do you know, England worked out, we're going, um, and it all really worked out. But I'm clear that had I gone to fear, had we gone to fear or control or struggle, I mean, it just wouldn't look this way. We, we wouldn't have put the house on the market. We would have gotten the deal to England and then we wouldn't know what to do with the house. And maybe it would have been too late. I mean, all different kinds of things could have happened. But we stayed true to what it was that we knew we wanted. And then we let go and let the universe do its thing in having it show up. And I've got to tell you, if we weren't moving to England and we were just selling the house and figuring out what our next step was... We were okay with that too. So when you're really clear about what it is that you want and you have faith in something out there's got your back. Now, I don't know if you are Christian or Muslim or Jewish or whatever your faith is or nothing, atheist, I don't care. It really helps. At least it makes all the difference in my life to believe that something out there has got my back. And through this whole process, I've always known that it's going to work out just the way it's supposed to, and that I don't need to try to control everything. And the more I allow myself to let go, the more magic and miracles can show up. And I've got to tell you, that is exactly what has happened. It's simple. It's not easy. But the more you practice letting go, being clear, the more miracles and magic can happen. So I hope that um, that resonates with you. I hope that you've gotten a lot of value out of these videos. Watch them anytime that you want. I love you guys. I'll be back next week. I'm sure this house will be packed up in craziness, uh, but I'll, I'll let you in on it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.